Well, I think what we have in the clean tech industry, and I've had actually now for several years, is a massive disconnect between what is in the mutual interests of both countries and what is in fact happening as a result of uh, the policies of both countries, and in particular those in this case of the of the United States. Uh, if you just look at the facts on the ground, China is the leader in clean technology and in green technology, be it from solar panels to uh, battery materials, uh, to full batteries for electric vehicles, to electric vehicles themselves. There are now 150 electric vehicle car companies in China vying for that enormous domestic market, but hoping also to make an impact internationally. Here we have in various states and, and nationally a commitment um, uh, to have a gradual introduction of electric vehicles uh, uh, in the United States. But we're far behind uh, in our investment in the technology needed to do this. And the logical thing for us to do would be to partner with private Chinese companies such as CATL, uh, the battery the leading battery manufacturer in the world, uh, or um, BYD, a private company uh, that is the leading EV producer uh, in China and uh, the leading one in the world as a result of that, to partner with these industry leaders uh, in a way somewhat similar, but a little bit different than how we partnered with the Japanese in the 1980s at a time of massive Japanese trade surpluses with the United States. But the politics comes into this and that Ford, for example, wanted to have a contractual arrangement with CATL for batteries for uh, the Ford Motor Company's electric vehicles and political pressures on, on Ford, both from politicians and unions, made this very difficult to do. Um, you have a number of Chinese companies that would, like the Japanese in the 1980s, uh, like to establish uh, a presence in the American market by producing in the American market for the American market. In the 1980s, the great enormous tension between Japan and the United States was to a considerable degree dissipated by, uh, or was to a considerable degree reduced by Japanese investment in the US. Toyota, uh, Honda, uh, Nissan, Mitsubishi, they all established manufacturing plants in the United States, bringing to the United States and you know, tens of thousands of new jobs in parts of the country where there had not been much of an automobile industry before. And leading the leading American automobile manufacturers to improve their own vehicles in order to compete. Competition uh, is essential in any industry and nowhere more so than in the automobile industry. 